Welcome back to the Laurel Martin Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson Field Hockey head coach Laurel Martin. And coach, two tough road losses last week. Right. Talk about those games. Well, Rowan is a, a sound team. I think that they're um, under-acknowledged. Uh, so uh, that was a, a tough loss, and I think if we would have competed at our top end, we would have given them um, a, uh, a fight for a win. Um, we just were a little sluggish, uh, not getting to the ball first. Uh, and again, that you know, is that us or is that the opponent? Uh, because they're very strong. So um, a tough, a tough loss there, but a respectable loss to uh, to come out down two nothing at half to not allow a goal the second half was big for us we made some adjustments and um just weren't able to put the ball in the net to uh be a little bit more of a contender and then you actually open conference play yeah. at on the road at albright <laughs> mm -hmm. talk about that overtime loss there yeah, so that that was exceptionally tough. Um, Albright's field is is slow and and mushy. <laughs> it's a wonderful adjective, mushy and slow, but um, it's it's very legitimate. And um, our team, we strive on fast surfaces, and um, speed is one of our strengths. And when that's taken away from us on the slower surfaces, we need to learn how to adapt and how to. Um, stick with our gameplay and stick with our ball movement and speed um, with a slower surface. And, and we just weren't and still are struggling to figure out how to, uh, to do that. So that's something we need to work on. Albright came out fighting um, back and forth. Two teams uh, appeared very equal on paper statistically. And um, we put in a goal and um, looked like we would have had it secured. And then right there at the end, they, they dribbled one in. And, uh, and and then right there, very early in the overtime, they, they attacked and they scored as well on, a, on an APC. So very disheartening, um, but something I'm, I'm hoping that we'll learn from and get better because of. Right at the halfway point of the season, mm. looking back at that first half, how would you assess your team's play so far? So uh, I think our team has a huge amount of potential. I think right now is um, we just have to continue to play free and um, and and to strive to to make some changes um, on the on the field, primarily with getting to the ball first, aggression and confidence. Um, this team is um, struggling with a lot of academics right now, to be honest. And I don't know if other programs are; they're all probably going through it. But right now, they're they're a little overwhelmed with all of the things that come with other real life scenarios. So, how do you get through all of that and still perform on the field? And that's another thing we're working through right now. Well, you have an opportunity to perform on the field tonight or yes. later this afternoon. Right. Travel to Gettysburg. Talk about that matchup. So this will be an exciting game. So Gettysburg just upset Ursinus, who's nationally ranked, um, uh, a big name in the field hockey world. And um, they upset them in, in double over time. So they're coming off of a, a big win, a big conference win, and we're coming off of a tough conference loss. So uh, I think we're going to be scrapping. I feel positive energy from the kids. And um, there's no, no real uh, weight on this. It's just go out there, fight, and, um, and give them a good fight. It'll be two evenly matched teams. And then to end the week, you're back home after a four-game road trip. Yeah, thank goodness. You host Arcadia <laughs> in a conference yeah. conference uh, game, and it's kind of big. You know, you fall mm -hmm. behind. You know, with the one loss, what do you what do you look for your team to respond in that type of game? Well, Arcadia will be easy uh, because that's turned into you know, as all conference games have turned into a, a pretty good rival. So I I don't anticipate me having to motivate them in any way, shape, or form. Um, we're gonna have to just. Uh, I'll have a lot of days to prepare, which is good. We'll have some breathing room to um, get prepared for that game and then hopefully come out on top at our own turf and, um, and secure a victory, which will be much needed. Well, we wish you the best of luck in both games this Thank week. You. And we look forward to seeing you next week. She's been Laura Martin. I'm <laughs> Sam Murray. And you've been watching The Laura Martin Show.